Hello there, this is Matt from JetBrains, and in today's video I'm going to show you how ReSharper C++ can help you work with the reflection macros used by Unreal Engine's property system. ReSharper C++ has built-in knowledge of the reflection macros, uClass, uFunction, uProperty, and so on, used by the Unreal header tool to gather information for the details pane in the editor, serialization, and garbage collection. ReSharper will help you understand what the macro does by showing a quick doc tooltip with a short description as well as more detailed remarks. ReSharper also recognizes the specifier keywords and provides quick doc tooltips here too. And of course, ReSharper provides code completion both for the macros and the specifiers, with summary tooltips shown during completion. You can quickly create new types that work with the property system by using the uClass and uStruct live templates. If you want to create an enum, you can use the uEnum template, while uEnum class will generate a C enum class or scoped enumeration. Of course, you can edit the templates to tweak the generated code if you wish. But ReSharper's real power lies in its code analysis, inspections, and quick fixes. And ReSharper C++ has a number of inspections to help with reflection macros. For example, if you use the wrong macro on the wrong type, such as applying uStruct to a class or uClass to a struct, ReSharper will highlight the type name and let you know. In fact, ReSharper will let you know if you forget to add a macro, if you have a class that derives from U object but doesn't have a macro, ReSharper will add a highlight. You can even use Alt Enter to automatically fix this. And ReSharper will make sure that your class is deriving from the right base classes too. Your U class will be highlighted if it does not inherit directly or indirectly from U object, or if it has more than one base class. You'll also see a highlight if you try to declare a U class inside another class, and ReSharper will ensure that your U interface classes are empty. Looking at type members, ReSharper will let you know if a U function or U property macro has no effect, and you can use Alt Enter to quickly remove the redundant macro. Finally, ReSharper has a very useful inspection for when a field references an Unreal object but doesn't have a U property macro. Bypassing the property system like this means Unreal can't track the usage and might garbage collect the object while you're still using it. Getting told about this potential bug in the editor can save a lot of time and effort debugging later on. We've just seen how ReSharper C++ can help you work with Unreal Engine's reflection macros, with quick doc information, code completion, live templates, and even inspections and quick fixes to help you use the macros correctly. Speaking of macros, here's a quick bonus tip. ReSharper C++ recognizes the UE log macro and other text formatting functions and macros such as checkf, and gives syntax highlighting and inspections for the format specifiers. Catch mismatched arguments before you compile. Please visit jetbrains.com slash resharper dash cpp to download your 30-day trial version and try it on your own Unreal Engine projects. Thank you for watching.